Alright guys, it's Jerome is Alpha or Justin Zone and Shine from Instagram. And I was going to show you my well my chessboard and these are my chess puppies. And my a new chess puppy is in the package. I call them chess puppies because they're named after chess pieces. Like we've got Knight here. This is Knight. He would play this to start. He could be a first player or not. And basically, they will move in diagonal angle. I'm going to teach you a little bit about chess in this one, too. Uh, also, I am a novice. I'm not very good, and I'm not ranked or anything. But um, this is my chess board. I absolutely do love chess, and I think it's a very fun game. Anyway, so it's a very stra it's a very strategical game, though. Strategic. I think that's the word. I think that's the word I'm thinking. Anyway, this is check. I'm going to show you how you check, mate. Now, let's just say that, say, let's move him, you move him, you move him, and let's just say, uh, because this guy cannot move diagonally, this is your rook, you move him, sorry about that, you move him, you move him, and then you'd be over here, and you would be able to check, um, and again, obviously, ideally, that wouldn't happen that way, but uh, he can only move in these directions. Vertically and horizontally. This is your rook. I'm about to show you rook as also. Oh, I did already show you rook. Or, no, yeah, this is knight. But, yeah, I showed you knight. This is, um, and this is check. This is my bo This is what my boyfriend named him. He wanted to keep his name as that, so this is check. So check is basically... When your king is in danger of being checkmated. It is right before it becomes checkmated. So you can actually play these pieces here to be checkmated. Remember, the pawn can play two spaces or one on its first turn. So, we're going to use him. So he's going to move that. And you can move your queen over here. This is called fool's mate. Now, regard now, if your person isn't smart enough, you can actually move him and you can knock out your queen. But she, right now, he's check. He's checked uh, because then you can move this and you can knock out the queen and you can win in two moves. That's called uh, fool's mate. Uh, given the fact that your play, the other player doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, Generally in practice, or what you would call a skittle, um, and that would never happen because, uh, first of all, not a lot of people also know about that specific move, and it's also a very risky move. Anyway, I'm 30 minutes in. Let's move on. This is um, Bishop. This is Bishop's move. This is my Bishop here. Bishop can only move diagonally, so I can only move her once I move this pawn. And move it out. It's good to move all your pieces out, except for, and I'm going to talk about this in a minute. Um, it's good to move all your pieces out of the way of your king, because then you can play a move called castling. So let's say, ideally, we moved all these pieces out. Of course, that yeah, that would be a move. That would be a move. You uh, that would be the move you would make for that guy. And, um, he would be stuck for a minute, so he would have to move this one again. But, um, you would move this. So, ideally, this is two moves. This is a legal two moves. You would move your king, and it you would flip them. So, he was protected by the rook. The rook can move any direction it wants, except for diagonally and in as many spaces as it wants. But that's ideally. Uh, you can get to castling... But you have to get it at a certain price. And also, you can never move your king, and your rook can also can't be moved. It, those are the only uh, re rules of that. Aside from that, if you've never moved your rook that you'll be castling with, or your king you'll be castling with, you're good to play that move in its legal move. Alright, so, anyway. This one is, like I said, bishop. I was just talking about bishop. I'll be talking about this. And when this is check, talked about check. I talked about rook. No, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is no, this is knight. Sorry. I have two black dogs, so it gets confusing. This is rook. Or this is knight. Sorry. This is knight. This is check. This is, um, 
let's move on anyway. Uh, this is uh, Bishop. This is Pawn. Pawn is the piece that can, is the ma mainly uh, considered a pheasant. Or peasant. Sorry. I said it wrong. <clears throat> it can move two moves on its first move or can move one. You cannot move two moves on a second move or third and up so forth into 50. Um, but that's the only move it can make. It can't move backwards. It can move only forwards. And I believe it can move sideways. I might be wrong about that. I'm sorry. I have to review again. But I know it can't move backwards. It's the one thing it cannot do. Uh, it's actually limited to its space. It can only move one space at a time except for the first one, which can move two. Anyway. This is Skittle. Skittle is considered a game that is not ranked and just kind of play or practice. That's all it is. She's my sm He's my smallest puppy of my animal alleys. Anyway, this is Gambit. Gambit is when you sacrifice a piece on purpose for the good of the game. To win the game. O honestly, usually you end up winning the game because you made that move. It's a risky move and doesn't always work. But if you do win, it's a Gambit. So... That's what that is. Anyway, I've got right here, I've got Rook. Rook. Again, we've talked about Rook. It can move horizontally or diagonally in any space that it wants. As long as it's not occupied. They cannot jump over. The only ones that can jump over are a Knight. And I believe that is it. I think there's one more that can move, that can jump over. Or it is capturing a piece. Now, thing is, it cannot move diagonally, so it cannot get this piece uh, but it can knock out this first piece. You have to move your piece out of the way first, though. So you would move him. But the only way you can move that is if um, you move that. So that's a piece that can only move diagonally and horizontally. We're at seven minutes now. Anyway, and my other puppy. Your name is Blitz. Blitz is a game that uh, only the player takes less than 10 minutes to, to uh, play. It's a very fast game, basically. I forget what the, uh, what the record is on that. But anyway, I fixed all their noses. So anyway, you've got Check. You've got Knight. You've got, oh, uh, you got Bishop. You've got uh, Blitz. You've got Pawn. You've got Skittle. You've got Gambit. And you've got Rook. Anyway, this is my new one. His, her name will be Castle. Or Castling. So that's why I was showing you Castling. It's an interesting move. I was trying to think of a name for her because I realized that I already have, I have eight puppies already. So you have to name something. And she, I want it to be related. Anyway. Oh, there she is. Anyway, this will be Castle. She's my brown animal alley doggy. Hard to get out, and it's at eight minutes, and she's absolutely beautiful. She does need a nose job, so that's okay. And she is the same size as her brothers and sisters. Yay! I'm so excited. Anyway, this is Castle. So I named it for the move that I showed you earlier with the king and the rook, and moving these pieces out of the way. Generally, the queen side, which is what this is, you would move three spaces. Two, you mean through one, two, three, two castle over. But uh, that would be queen side. This would be king side, depending on which side you were going to castle. You can castle either one. Anyway, this is castle. I already knew her tag would be like this, but I'll make it my other girl. So I've got three girls in this pile, and then the rest are boys, the five boys. So this is knight. This is castle. And let me find Bishop. So Bishop, Knight, and Castle are my girls. And all these other ones, which is Rook, Skittle, um, sorry about that, Pawn, Gambit, um, uh, Blitz, and Check are all boys. So anyway, these are all my new puppies. And I thought it would be fun to show you my chessboard as well because they are all chess related and show you what each of these pieces do and why I name them that based on their plays and also moves because it's not just plays now. It's also a move because a check is not a piece. It is a move. 
and generally the one where you might win and you might not. It's not good to be in check, but you can always get out of it. Checkmate is where the game is over and the other person has won. So, not good. And you do have to call out check and checkmate. Uh, kind of like Uno. Anyway, so, an interesting thing about chess, before we go, this is actually my favorite puppy, I'll show you, is... In a game, in a real game, in a ranked game, once you touch a piece or even move the piece, you've got to play that piece. In a skittle, or an unranked game, you can take your hand and still move it, but you can still choose a different one, you just can't take your hand off, or it's a legal move and you cannot play it. But basically, all that is just the game. It's a very strategical game, and the way to win is also to make sure that you're watching the play the other players' moves as well. You can determine what their pro what their plays are based on the uh, based on the playbook and how many plays, how many legal plays it is to pull, to win it. Uh, like I said, there are two moves. It's called Fool's Mate. There are a couple other moves that are really fast and makes it a blitz game. Uh, but that is kind of all of it. I do enjoy the I do enjoy the series. It was called Queen's Gamut, um, and it's a really fun uh, series because it's very accurate to it. I don't know if it's a true story or not, but I really like it, and I love that it explains kind of in detail how each of these pieces is supposed to move, and also her 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 um, basically her whole journey to becoming a grand master which is the name that you want there's a master and then two other moves and then two others that would be the name of it and then you would be the grand master it's basically novice and then it's like um a b and d a b c and d i think it is and then it's side championship or something and then it's like grandmaster i'm not as sure exactly i didn't do too much review on that one but i wanted to make sure i reviewed each of these pieces so that i could accurately describe um what each of these pieces do i absolutely love this game i do want to play it again and i got my game out so i could but anyway this is castle this is my newest one and i really like her she's my only brown dog because they're harder to get but uh she definitely has all these siblings now um and they're all siblings and um yep that's all of them and i wanted them all to be a special name of a special thing that i like and i thought chess chess would be a good name because there's a whole bunch of terms that could be used obviously the i couldn't name them all the pieces because i want to name one king or queen because then they would be uh then it would be uh superior to the other so i decided to kind of name them within the names i wouldn't named him pawn but i was running out of names and i do kind of like the name pawn it's kind of a cool name so anyway yep all the names of the puppies and all the pieces that they play anyway thank you for watching bye